You might think that growing awareness around environmental issues, plus ambitious targets to reduce global emissions, would have started to have an impact on our atmosphere. But you may need to think again. In the year up to 2018, global carbon emissions actually rose by 1.7% to reach a historic high of 33.1 gigatons. That's according to a new report by the International Energy Agency. It means that in the two years since the Paris Climate Agreement was signed, more CO2 has been pumped into our atmosphere. Despite a levelling off in emissions between 2014 and 2016, the Paris plan for a 26% drop in emissions by 2025 now seems a distant hope. So who or what is to blame? China, India and the United States were responsible for 85% of the emissions increase between them, as well as 70% of all global energy demand. While coal use is declining slightly in the US, the demand for fossil fuels across the three nations – that's coal, oil and natural gas – continues to rise. In the United States, for example, natural gas demand spiked by 10%, an increase roughly equivalent to the annual gas consumption of the whole United Kingdom. It explained why an impressive surge in renewable energy, solar deployment increased by more than 30%, has so far failed to have an impact on overall emissions. And according to Met Office projections, the picture for 2019 is even more worrying. CO2 levels are likely to be higher due to a natural climate phenomenon called an El Nino. This variation creates warmer conditions in the tropics and restricts plant growth, meaning less CO2 is absorbed from the air. Exacerbated by man-made destruction of forests for agriculture, plus the continuing use of fossil fuels, 2019 will likely set more records for carbon pollution. I'll get that little piece of dandruff